Hi everyone, uh, I've just received my Raspberry Pi in the post and I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of it now. So firstly, here we have the box. It's just a normal box I got it in. And it's got the Raspberry Pi logo on it with the RS Components Limited, which is the site that I bought mine from. But you, you can buy it from another website called Element 14 but and both deliver throughout the world. Now this took me four months just to order it on the site and five weeks delivery. This is due to the popularity of this product. It cost me about 30 quid including VAT and delivery and you can only buy one per household. So let's get into the box. Now firstly here's the manuals and here's the Raspberry Pi but we'll leave that for a second so here we have the quick start guide and it says we need a micro USB connector and this is a 5 volt one a USB keyboard a HDMI cable or a video cable a USB mouse, a LAN cable, an Ethernet cable an SD card, that is, to prepare a bootable SD card you will need a PC with a SD card reader and just the site on how to on how to boot it up really and here's the how to start up guide yep. now here's the safety information and I did read that it says that it should not be overclocked which is what you really expect for something without a fan and any cooling system really so let's move that aside so here we have the Raspberry Pi and it comes in a static proof casing so let's open this up now look how small this is let's just compare it with a library card now they did say it's about the same size as a credit card and it, it really is there you go so firstly we have the HDMI port this is to connect to newer TVs and maybe some monitors now here's the power connector which is a micro USB 5 volt connector it has let's just focus that, it has a few LEDs here and uh, here's the RCA video output this is to connect to older TVs here's the 3.5 millimeter jack to connect to speakers and I have the model B version which includes two USB ports and an Ethernet cable and yep they're the ports really the dimensions of this are 85.6 millimeters by 53.9 millimeters by 17 millimeters and it's capable of uh, running 1080p using H.264 at 40 megabits per second. It has a 256. It has 256 megabytes of RAM and a 700 megahertz ARM processor. And there isn't any on/off switch. It's just you pull out the wire to turn it on and off. And here underneath is the SD card slot, which is basically your hard drive and this this basically you boot up Linux with it and yep that's it really that's the review of the Raspberry Pi and I've got a I'm going to be making another video of how to boot up XBMC onto this Raspberry Pi so if you liked it please comment and subscribe and like the video thank you